Handy Hudson Knight here. I'm going to show you how we can get access to a password protected Excel worksheet without even knowing the password. Maybe you forgot the password, maybe it's been misplaced, maybe this worksheet has been given to you by a coworker and no one in the office knows the password. How do we get access to it? And we'll do it without even using any third party software and I'll show you exactly how to do it right now. Okay, let's go over to open my Excel spreadsheet. I have some random sales data here. And when this opens up, we'll see that it is password protected. As I try to, if I try to change anything in here, you see it has this pop-up that says that says that this is a protected sheet. So there's no way that I can make any changes to this. I'm locked out of it. I don't know the password. If I were to go into here and you know click the unprotected sheet in the review tab, I could try a whole bunch of different passwords but it's just going to tell me that the password is wrong. So what do I do in order to get into this spreadsheet that probably has vital data for your company, for your organization, maybe even for your own family? How can we get in here to access the data to be able to change it and work with it? Well, all we need to do is we need to go into this file and we need to make a couple of small changes and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So let's close this out. So here we are on my desktop and this is the file and before we do anything let's make sure that we have a backup of this and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a copy of this and just have a backup. Let's go into the desktop folder. It'll be easier to work with it in here. And what we want to do here with the original, not the copy, now please make sure to get that copy made. We go in here to the original, and what we want to do is we want to change the file name. Uh, it's currently an Excel file, which is the XLSX. I'm going to right click on this, and then we're going to do rename. And I should say, if you don't see this uh, extension here, the XLCX, XLSX in your folder, to simply come up here to view and make sure this box is checked, file name extensions. So again, right click, we'll rename this. And we want to rename it to, we want to make it a zip file. And it's going to give me a confirmation message. Are we sure we want to change it? Yes, we do. So it is now a zip file, and depending on what type of unzip program you have, with uh, and there's a variety of programs out there, or you're just using the the Windows unzip, like me, though it does default to uh, the VLC media player. So I'm going to open it with Windows Explorer, and when you open up your this file, this zip file, it's going to populate like this, and we want to go into the Excel folder and then into the worksheets folder. Now there's three worksheets here because there were three tabs in my workbook and it was on the second sheet that I was password protecting. So we want to double click on this and my computer's asking me what program to open it in. Notepad uh, is fine. Probably a good easy program to work with. Bring this over here so you can see it. Now what we want to do is, this looks extremely complicated, and trust me this is not that hard. So what we want to do is uh, find a particular word, the word protect, and an easy way to do it is to, there's a shortcut, control F, and just type protect in here like what I have, and then click find next, and then you can close that box out. So here it found protect, and it's part of the uh, the phrase here sheet protection and you see this uh, bracket here on the left side we want to highlight everything to the right over to the next bracket which I believe is right here but you're gonna want to confirm and you can scroll back to make sure that there's no other right bracket which there doesn't seem to be because you don't want to delete more than you need to or you're gonna corrupt the file which is why we made the backup so now, just go ahead and delete that, and then we're going to want to save a new copy of this. So you can you can hit Control S, and it's going to ask where we want to save it. The desktop is fine because we're going to keep this to the side. You can close that out. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're we're actually going to replace the sheet.xml file 
that we originally worked with with the one over here on my desktop that I saved after I took the, the protect uh, uh, code out of it. So let's delete the one here, the sheet2.xml. I'm going to delete that. It's going to give me confirmation on delete. And then all I have to do is click and drag this one over into the file, and there it is. And then the last thing that we have to do is go back, and we're going to just rename this back to an Excel file. So we just add the XLS, XLSX extension on it again. It's going to give me a confirmation. And there we go. It's back to the Excel format. So when I click into this, it should allow me to edit the file now. And let's see what happens. So here's the same data file. I'm on the food sales tab. And there I go. I can type into it. I can change the data in here, not that I want to. So there's how you can regain access to an Excel password protected file. Very easy to do. And please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or comments or other tricks that you have with Excel or anything related to the password protected sheets. Be sure to give this video a like so that YouTube will promote it among people who need to know this. And subscribe to my channel for more tips on topics like this and a variety of others. And I'll see you in the next video.